K2 Black Panther. What makes this lethal tank so powerful? South Korea lives with precarious geography. The Republic of Korea sits on the edge of a peninsula, with its back to the sea and cornered by a dangerous rival. Technically, the ROC has been at war with its northern neighbor, North Korea, since 1950. No peace treaty was ever signed to end the Korean War. Backed by the United States, South Korea seems always on the verge of conflict with their China-backed northern neighbor. Naturally, given their geographic realities, South Korean war planners place an emphasis on ground forces. That emphasis has resulted in the production of one of the most advanced, most expensive battle tanks ever built, the K-2 Black Panther. The world's first fourth-generation tank. At $8.5 million per unit, the K-2 Black Panther is a big investment in South Korea's defensive abilities. Manufactured by Hyundai Rotom, the K-2 is no Elantra. It is generally considered a fourth-generation tank, the only fourth-generation tank currently in service, anywhere. In the 1990s, South Korea enjoyed a tank advantage over the DPRK. North Korea still relied on Cold War Soviet models like the T-55s and Type 59s, outdated relics. South Korea, on the other hand, was operating K-1 and Ka-1 models, capable tanks designed in the 1980s. Given their tight geopolitical circumstances, the South Koreans were not satisfied with this advantage. They set about designing an improved model. Research began in the late 1990s with efforts to create a cutting-edge tank that incorporated automatic target tracking devices, autoloaders, and 21st-century operating software. By the early aughts, testing began, and by 2014, the K-2 entered service as one of the world's most advanced tank models. The K-2 is armed with a CN08 120mm 55 caliber smoothbore gun, with an autoloader that allows for firing of up to 10 rounds per minute. During the design phase, the South Koreans considered outfitting the K-2 Black Panther with Rheinmetall's experimental 140mm smoothbore gun, but the Hyundai built CN08 won out. Supplementing the main gun are two machine guns, a 12.7mm K6 heavy machine gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The K2 Black Panther is a highly capable shooter. To fire the 120mm main gun, the K2 depends on an advanced fire control system. Using an extremely high-frequency radar system, a Raman laser rangefinder, and a crosswind sensor, the K-2 is capable of lock-on targeting. This means the tank can acquire and track targets, using a thermographic camera, at a range of up to 6 miles. The result is a highly capable gun. It can fire on the move, and it is even capable of engaging low-flying aircraft. The fire control system can also account for the tank's movement over uneven terrain making minuscule adjustments to improve accuracy while rolling over bumps and divots. The K-2 is a mobile tank. Capable of reaching speeds of 70 km per hour, the K-2 accelerates from 0 to 32 km per hour in just 8.7 seconds. In off-road conditions the K-2 can cruise, maintaining speeds up to 52 km per hour. Designed for rugged battlefield terrain, the K-2 can climb 60-degree slopes and scale 1.8-meter-high vertical objects. The K-2 can even ford rivers as deep as 4.1 meters, with just 20 to 30 minutes of preparation. Using a snorkel system, the K-2 chassis can take in 500 gallons of water, helping the tank sink down and maintain traction on the river bottom. The turret remains watertight, indeed, the K-2 is versatile. By comparison, the tank's predecessor, the K-1, 
needed two hours of preparation to cross a river two meters deep. The K-2 Black Panther is a futuristic tank designed for a generations-old feud. Hopefully, the Black Panther will never be needed for its intended purpose, a land war with North Korea.